What's up people, LUI here obviously, salute you whatever you are. The video will play in a few seconds, uh, but prior to that allow me to showcase to you some of the latest transformations and coaching I was able to do with some of you guys, my clients, all natural, all done online. So the address is always the same, louimarcotraining at gmail.com. Enjoy the video. What's up people? What is up people? LUI here. LUI, where you at? Are we live or not? Are we live? What's up people? LU right here. LU. I'm gonna get closer so you guys can hear me, right? As usual. Before I do that, let me show you what's up. It was back day, obviously. Canes were absolutely loyal. I'm gonna try to show you my, my abs right here, because I'm gonna post this video on YouTube. This section is getting better by by the week. Anyway, let me get closer so you guys will hear me. What's up? All right. So let's talk about that post actually I just made uh, today. Uh, some say that guy is uh, from Iraq. Some others say he's from Iran. Anyway, same region. And what well, he collapsed on stage probably last week. No idea why, quite frankly. But. Anywho, anywho, as I told you, it's on record, it's a known fact, it's a beaten record. Whenever anything goes wrong in bodybuilding, it's never drugs. Bro, it's never drugs. As a matter of fact, one guy said, bro, probably he was uh, stressed or he was nervous. He posted that, and you guys can see my reply to him. I told him, bro, for you guys, it's never drugs. It's always some family related issues, some stress, too much coffee, right? And when he had problem with the heart, no, he was eating a lot of cheeseburgers. It's never drugs, dude. It's never drugs. That's it. You keep the, the fantasy going. Whereas everybody knows what's up. God damn it. You see some, some kids dying. And if they do, if their family request the autopsy you'll see every single organ big huge and the count of uh, I mean the chemical analysis is absolutely insane all right but that's not anywho anywho you guys are loving these uh, spontaneous cardio videos that I'm doing for you guys and well the message is clear stay natural I, I'm, I'm absolutely convinced that I'm doing a good deed that will save lives if it saves three of you guys I'm a happy camper right you guys notice I'm not following bodybuilders on my on my social media like if they want to follow me great I post a diversified content but myself I got fed up when I go to my feeds I see all juiced up guys I got fed up with them so slowly but surely, I want to unfollow all of them eventually. Really got fed up with that. That's that. And when it comes to you guys, most of you, the crazy majority of you guys are, are people who have lives. Probably are teenagers who still go to school. And unfortunately, some of you will fall into the, the juice path without even knowing what you're putting your foot into. You're trying to follow the lead of guys who are who have big orexia issues to start with. These guys have a mental issue. It's big orexia. So. And you guys don't have it. Most of you guys don't have it. I, I, I don't have it. It's a special case. So they have their demons to battle and you guys join them. It's not your fight, dude. It's not your war. You have absolutely no dog in that fight. Next thing you know, you wind up addicted. And look at the comments that people are, are posting on my videos. They tell about their stories, how they jump into it and how they're stuck for life. 
I hope you guys watched the, the documentary, Bigger, Faster, Higher, whatever that is. It was quite known, right? Bigger, Faster, Higher, whatever. Right? And that guy, was, he filmed a lot of things, right? But one thing that struck me was when he did an interview with that, with that homeless guy, I think he used to live in a car, in a parking lot, I think it was outside of, of Gold's gym. That guy did a scene with Sylvester Stallone in a movie of arm wrestling, uh, the arm wrestling movie. What's the name of that movie, guys? Sylvester Stallone arm wrestling movie. So it was the buff guy who did uh, a scene with them. And now, I mean back then, like 10 years ago, he was merely a bum living in a car outside the gym that's it he, he, was, he was addicted to the gym he had no no life and then when he asked him he said bro probably the most important thing for me is how much I lift in the bench press yet he was a bum a homeless bum living outside you guys remember that that scene I was like what the hell so he just wrecked his life for the gym life, for juice and whatever. And funny thing is, the guy who made the, I mean, it's not, it's not, it's not funny, it's sad. The sad thing is, I think that the guy who made that documentary, his brother was kind of a small time wrestler and he was on juice. And I think his brother passed away, right? And he destroyed his family life, it was really sad. And if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong, I think that the guy who made the documentary himself confessed later that him too was taking juice. A proper diabolical devilish path, if you ask me, in my opinion. Really. About, about, not two years ago, almost two years ago, I was talking to the girlfriend of one of the top pros very top pros of course you guys know him I was talking to his girlfriend on a regular right and the dude was doing the so called European tour the European tour like Prague and Spain and Kuwait and he was so stressed about the paycheck because it was to to buy his daughter or whatever a car like a regular car like a Toyota Corolla and he was stressed about it I need that check it showcases that most of these guys are living check to check bro check to check and the daily driver he drives it's a very fancy car like a big car probably a rental for Orlando but that's that that is that I was like what the hell this guy with social media has like this fancy car. Next thing you know, he struggles to buy his daughter like a mini Corolla or something. Why do you like the kids? Why you tell them, hey, you're rich and you're ballers, this and that, right? And you guys remember a guy, his name is Melvin Anthony. He's in prison now, right? His name was Marvelous Melvin Anthony. Busted for what? For drugs. This guy was, was one of, probably arguably the best poser posing routine in the last 30 years or so very classical guy did he get rich from bodybuilding what did he get from bodybuilding nothing you guys remember Craig Titus Craig Titus you gotta remember him he's in prison for life I think <laughs> yeah you... well, that's that that's that No, I'm not posting on YouTube anymore since a long time, since 2006. I'm no longer passionate about YouTube. I don't, I don't like YouTube as a platform. I don't like the ownership, the way it's managed. So it has nothing to do. I don't have passion. Of course, I'm not passionate about bodybuilders. You will never see me again making a video of, oh, look at this, the craziest bag ever. When I was making that, I was the most shrewd in, in the world. But it is a testament that this niche, which is bodybuilding, this, uh, this sector, bodybuilding, I, it shows that it, it's not that impressive. Look, I'm a complete outsider. I'm a natural guy who never goes to shows. 
I, ne I never met these guys before. When I was making videos about them, I was the most watched in the world. Right, so it does not take uh, rocket science to to talk about these guys. That's it. Right now, I'm just I'm not passionate about it, so I'm not gonna be a hypocrite and make videos and praise them all. Look at the back of this guy; it's crazy. I'll make a regular blog, and I talk over uh, pictures or videos. One time, I do, I do not even edit it and post it on YouTube. That's it. And I don't care about it. I forget about it. As simple as that. So I, you, I will never worship these guys or convey a message that promote them as being idols because I don't want you guys to think they're idols I don't, I don't want to send you the wrong message straight up so for whatever time I have left on social media I'm going to preach the natural life and my presence will be there to showcase that yesterday I stumbled on a so-called YouTuber I mean he's, he's, he was on Juice his whole, his whole life I think lately he was injured or whatever I looked at him and said damn what happened to it I know they injured his chest or whatever he looks like trash. He gained like freaking 20 years. Right? Do I feel bad for these type of guys? No. Because they're, you know, they don't, no. They idolize their lifestyle. They went into it. That's it. They never tell you the truth. So I don't, I don't idolize them. I don't feel bad for them when they get injured. When they look old. I got another guy on YouTube. He's like, he's like 21. He looks like 50. And you go on his uh, history on his channel. I mean... A few years ago, he was like a teen with no beard, nothing. He was like a freaking kid. Like three years later, he became like an old dude who looks like 50. The voice mutated. Uh, he has no hair. He's just big, but he looks like a messed up melting pot. Not saluted at all, you know what I mean? So that's that. And me showcasing my, my physique now at 43, it frustrates a lot of them. And they send me messages, sir, Louis Marco, why are you betraying us? Why are you... Uh, not looting bodybuilding anymore because I'm being honest I'm being honest right that's it and the reality cannot lie I mean pictures cannot lie when you see me in deep in my 40s having a physique which is absolutely saluted it looks better than when I was 20 but then we see the, the, these gurus having this little uh, little uh, chit chat like interviews between the, themselves they look like freaking washed up and I think there was, a, there was a podcast lately, correct me if I'm wrong. I think it was done by, uh, by the Misfits. You know the Delbury Misfits? I don't watch them, but you guys told me about them. I mean, they met, they did an, uh, an interview with a so-called guru lately. And on that podcast, one of them said, bro, he looks so old in real life. When, when, when they met him in real life, that they found him, he looked so washed out, so chemically burned. They were like amazed. Everything is, is fake. I mean, fake hair color probably that did some surgery in the face it didn't work uh, some uh, makeup <sighs> you know they, they cannot hide it I mean there's no free ride there's no free ride what feel bad for them no that's it that, that's the proper vengeance I mean so if somebody like talks shit about me be it I mean do it talk shock about the LUI thing is you will never be the LUI you cannot go back in time and be natural you destroyed your health and you, you look like shit and I know that you feel like shit and then you see them, the hypocrisy, you see them trying to sell you vitamins. Are you kidding me? You take every drug in the book and they try to sell me vitamins to, to be healthy. How, how does that make sense? How does that make sense? Come behind what LUI is saying? Doesn't make any sense. And why have you posted the proper comments this morning? Remember like last year, I was the only guy who was talking about the bubble gut. And, and by the way, I am the inventor of the word bubble gut. I mean, it doesn't exist in bodybuilding. But bubble gut is like when, when you have gases in your stomach. But me, obviously, I'm not an English speaker. My first language is, is French. So I said, hey, it's, it's, it's a bubble gut. So I made it popular. Anywho, some of those so-called chemically burned gurus are saying there's no bubble gut. It was an illusion. It doesn't exist. Next thing you know, two years later, they were trying to sell you guys some carbs. You need to eat this carb because if you have a bubble gut it's mostly due to bad carbs or bad digestion or whatever like bad gases buy my carbs so you no longer have a bubble gut tell me is that a bubble gut or oh, there's no bubble gut there's no everybody was hating on me Lou Waku, there's no bubble gut you're crazy it's an, it's, it's an illusion next thing you know Mr. Olympia two week, uh, tw 12 days 12 days after the he won he did a surgery so you tell me who's right who's wrong ready and that's that yeah, it's, 
it's kind of funny that uh, I, I am the most natural dude and I'm, I'm the guy who invented the term anabolic chicken, uh, bubblegut bonanza, and probably the, they will stay there forever. That's that. So that's it, boys and girls. Most of you are boys. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't even have to address girls because girls are not tempted to take steroids. But a lot of you boys, most of you could be like my kids and damn it. I want you to stay natural and I'm receiving tons of messages every day. Thank you, Louis Marker. You changed my mind. I'm 21. When I was 18, I was about to jump on it. We all had that temptation, but it's not your fight, dude. You're a student. Be an entrepreneur. Think about the car you will buy. Do you know how much you will pay for juice if you, go, if you jump on it? How, how many hundreds of dollars you will lose a month? That's the best car rental you can have and you will do it for the rest of your life. Plus, you will acquire all kinds of side effects, dude, right? And then if you want to make a baby, you have to stop juice, right? And try to restart your testicles with, you take some other drugs to try to start resting. So it's kind of funny. I mean, they, they, they help you destroy your health and then they, they want to sell you pregnancy protocols. They help you destroy your life with all kinds of steroids. You shut down your testosterone. I mean, your testes will no longer work. After that, they want to, bro, buy my, uh, my, my pregnancy protocol. So I'll, I'll teach you what drugs you will take to, to start your testicles because you kill them, obviously. You're, you're no longer a man. You cannot make your woman pregnant, let alone you cannot have an, 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 uh, an uh, erection. You cannot have a, a boner, so they, they sell you drugs. You know that these guys, some of them, literally take like two Cialis a day, a day, like every day. Not only that, they're, they're so crazy, they take it uh, pre-workout. They think it gives them a pump or something. It's crazy stuff, man. What kind of hell are you guys want to put yourself into? And then they take drugs like Nubane to remove the pain and they don't feel the training. They're so addicted, you will see some, some, some guys, they go train at the gym and when the gym closes at midnight, I swear to God, you guys know what I'm talking about. When the gym closes at midnight, they will go to a different gym that opens 24 hours, th th like the same night. They finish working out their, uh, their workout uh, at the gym and then the gym closes, so they have to go to another gym. How crazy is that? And a lot of you guys know some guys who train like, they train in the morning and then at the, in the evening. Do you know why? It's not to have rest or to feel good, because they're addicted. They're addicted to that, uh, they, they want people to see them. They want to have that bump. And, 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 and showcase it for them. Their life revolves around that. So dude, I'm, I'm spending all these drugs on my body. So, so see me, notice me, give me some validation. Look, look at my gains, right? Damn, I had, I had some, some fans who added me back in the day on Facebook, I don't even know them. Their whole life, their whole post is about just showing their body. Look at my gains, look at this, look at that. And they talk all about it. I was fed up with them, I, I did delete them. Your life is just this. You take drugs and try to, to have validation. They post pictures and they want the, the like. Oh, they uh, they liked me, so I'm, do, I'm doing something good. I'm sorry, you just broke your life and you're broke. There is a guy who was a very known uh, professional. He's my friend, actually. Thank God he's not a bodybuilder. He's doing the other discipline, a classic physique, in a very known gym in the East Coast. He was telling me about that guy. His name is Vinny. Vinny. And that Vinny, bro, he brags that he's something, bro, I'm promoted by this company, I have a promotion. When you go to his Instagram, bro, uh, uh, he calls himself like a promoted athlete. You know what he does? He cleans the gym. He's the gym clean, uh, cleaner at, at the gym. That's it. He's like the janitor of that gym. And he thinks he's all that, bro, I'm a promoted athlete. Really? He lives at the gym and he cleans the gym. That's what he does. How many of you guys know these so-called athletes? You know what they do? They sell supplements at stores. So they, they put them behind the, the counter to, to sell the supplements and they stay there the whole life. They don't have time to construct a career. They don't have time to be an entrepreneur because they're obsessed by their lifestyle. Bro, uh, I, I need to pay like EOD every other day and then I have to take Aromacine every day or Nolvaldex every day or Arimidex every single day. Okay, and then after two or three months, I need to retrieve blood, take care of my blood pressure. Oh, now I have to take uh, medication for, for my cholesterol because Aromacine takes care of estrogen but it destroys your cholesterol or something else for all I know. I don't know, I'm just paying things, but it is the truth, right? 
and no, oh, bro, now I have issues with my uh, erection. Let me take uh, Cialis. Oh, I have. Uh, okay, when, when you take uh, Tren, you have a Tren Dick, and then uh, when you take uh, Deca, you have Deca Dick. That means it doesn't. work. Some crazy stuff, dude. So you're always trying to fix problems you created yourself by pinning that first pin. Don't do it, dude. Don't do it. It's hard to come off. Go ahead and ask Musclehead 320. He's, he's in jail now, so he spews the pure truth. He cannot pin. This guy was taking steroids, I think, for like six years, and he has been, he has been busted by, by the feds because he was selling the stuff, right? Look at him. Ask him. Right? He tells the proper truth. So that's what's up. God bless you. You guys love this type of videos. I'm going to keep posting them and then putting them on YouTube to, for them to stay for posterity. I, as of now, I think I'm the only ex-blogger. I used to I used to blog about bodybuilder who says the truth. And I'm very proud that I do not belong to this so-called fake community and let alone this, this, this craziness, man. In my opinion, this is my proper opinion. Even if I die tomorrow, in my reckoning, bodybuilding as it stands right now it is a death cult death cult that's about it how many how many so-called famous personas passed away lately and some of them are, are are having some operations you know heart issues right so if you see a guy who is losing all his gains lately because he probably he, he thought it over probably he went to see his doctor dr tan bro you have to reduce the consumption of that creatine, dude, or you're gonna die. You have no choice. You think it was a, you think it was a, a, a like an easy decision? So he looks like a freaking very small now, and he can no longer go to gyms. So he has to acquire a personal gym at home. Think it easy? They all will come off, right? And even the stars. Take my word for it, and let's wait and see. Do you guys think that the Rock, Dwayne Johnson? will stay big forever how old is he by now like 47 tick tack tick tack tick tack tick tack the rock you will be a physique competitor soon that's what i say it put it on notice the rock you're, you're the most famous uh, action hero now god, god bless you i know that you take a lot of creatine probably a monohydrate or, or hcl but in my reckoning you have to come up quite soon dude god bless you don't forget to like the video to stay for posterity. Guys, to test these baby, please be proud of it. You can walk outside, you can travel tomorrow to Europe, you can go to Australia. You know what? Your testicles will work. All you need is water and food. No pain, no pills, and you know, you can meet your love of your life and basically marry her there or whatever that is. And you know what? Sexually you will function. How cool is that? How amazing is that? You can go like to Malaysia or Indonesia for two months and you know what you don't need drugs no pills no pain no nothing you will survive with food and water how natural is that dearie me Louis Marco is being the damn truth be saluted guys it was a proper video wasn't it I sleep myself all right take two no idea where the camera is flipping to the side but let's see how it goes this time around Proper, isn't it? I was saluted. Damn. Natural gains, baby. No juice. Just whey protein and creatine. Some BCAA still. Obviously, no idea why my camera does not collaborate, especially here. I tried it everywhere and it works. And now, over here, when I try to showcase the back gains, it flips up. Maybe the gains are too low for all I know. Anyway, one more trial. And again guys, so all about rows. Been doing rows since since ever. And that's that. Most likely one of the best versions of my back ever so far. So far. One more trial. Damn it. Thank you. Frustrating. Proper isn't it? I hope it stays this way because it's proper, isn't it? There we go. A lot of rows, guys. A lot of rows. All day, every day. But I mean by that once a week. And your back development will be absolutely proper. You'll be the natural Dorian Yates. Way healthier, though, for obvious reasons. You'll take a lot of whey protein, some 
waiting. I'm busy. Merry Christmas.